Okay, so I'm going to look at this Tory and the house. We probably briefly covered this here at the bottom when we were working concepts earlier in the mesocyte. Remember, side to side pressure, whereby I would be coming this way, and then when you make frames on me, I was coming this way to pass. Um, it's the same pass. Um, called the Torionda Pass, it's always called the Bullfighter Pass. Um, so if you imagine I'm the, the Matador and Tyrone's the Bull, okay, which pretty much sums up his Jiu Jitsu, ah. the way he does Jiu Jitsu. I want to be the Bull. Okay, so um, nothing's really changed. I think the two main areas that we need to kind of focus on is um, do I make grips on the pants? Or do I make nogi grips on the on the ankles and shins? Um, Donahue prefers this over this, but he addresses both. Um, both have their advantages and disadvantages. I'll quickly talk about that, but I'm not going to go too much into it. Uh, the, the problem with, with um, if I make grips, it doesn't matter where I grab Tyrone. If I'm actually we're going to do this t um, tonight, uh, you know, it depends on you know if he's wearing those cheap judo bottoms. That's the grips there. I'll be looking at. There's a big chunk of material on the inside. But I have a lot more variations that I can do um, with the, the actual gi grips. I can grab to the inside, I can grab to the outside, I can grab at the knees, I can grab to more towards the pants. Um, obviously, um, you know, what I don't want to do is actually grab and then make my grips. If that makes sense, that's a terrible, that's a terrible term to use. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, a good thing is, I, I don't want to just make a grip, right? Especially if Tyrone's circling his hands. I could be anything, we're all over the place. So the best way to make the grip is to just slap him. I don't know what he's under that. <laughs> Bionic knee pads or something. I just slap him with the palms of my hands on the knees and then I make my grips. That's what he says anyway. The problem with that is, if I make gi grips, um, Tyrone can make grips on my sleeves. With two hands, well, well both, both hands, okay. yeah, perfect. Again, that, that's not really a major problem. The major problem is now, if he starts to bring his feet in, either, either in a lasso or spider guard. Yes, and now he's got connection and this sucks. The other thing is then he could start to make hooks under here and all that stuff I mean, as he's got sleep control. Um, so that would be the the disadvantages of gi grips. But the advantages is it's a more robust grip. In other words, when I get to here, I can actually pin a leg to the mat with a gi grip. And then from that position, I can start shelving and pass. So it's, it is a much, much robust and controlling aspect of it. And again, there's a lot of top players will do the Tory and the pass with gi grips. Um, with the no gi grips, I, I probably more, well now if I grab here, if Tyrone tries to do play his game and, and get my sleeves and stuff, it's a lot more difficult. Even if he does get my sleeves, now try getting your feet in my biceps, try putting your lasso, yeah. and I'm already cutting an angle. So obviously advantages of no gi is, um, I can quickly make grips and cut my ankles straight away. Remember we talked about the concept of, um, you know, I never, when I'm passing the guard, I never want Tyrone's feet pointing at me. I want them to one side. So obviously, if I was doing no gi grips, I think this is more of a throwback, where I'm not actually pinning the legs to the mat as in this type of action. It's more of a, a throwback, and then from this position, I can start to, do the passing again. We're going to. He, he, he does cover both. We're going to work just on the gi grips tonight. So the main thing is, I don't go past the toe line. When I make the grips, I, I slap my hands and then I make my grips. For, now the first thing is we cover this in concepts. I don't want Tyrone's feet pointing at me. The longer I stay in front of him, he's going to make sleep control and his feet are going to be either lassoing or spider guard. So let's take a back a step. So the second, I don't go past the toe line because if I do, he's got hooks and stuff. So I'm coming in, I make my grips and I cut an angle. So 
Tyrone's feet are pointing away from me. Now, two directions of the, the push. You know, if you look at the human body, if I start pushing the far knee towards the hip line, watch what happens to the near side knee. It happens to go with it. It's actually clearing it. So the minute I make this grip, this direction is always going towards the hip line. My second grip, and of course I've cut an angle. The main thing is the angle. You know, the minute I make my grips, even if Tyrone's quick and he's already got sleep control, it doesn't matter. He'll be, he'll be letting go of that in a minute. Now I cut an angle, so it speaks away from me. I start pushing this way. Now I can start pinning that to the mat. The second I do, it's very hard for Tyrone to actually you know, do his guard retention and stuff. Now watch what I'm gonna do with this second knee. I don't push it in the same direction. I push the second knee towards the center line because that's creating space um, that I need to occupy. Now, if Tyrone's playing open guard right, he will have tension in his body, okay? What I mean is tension is the minute I make grips, he's gonna be connecting his knees to his elbows as in a ball, right? Um, if Tyrone isn't, just release one second. If Tyrone isn't, you know, if I'm, if I'm here and there's no tension in his body, I mean, and it's Gavin, I just have to push that to the mat and walk around and I'm passing. But uh, it's just, um, grab me, bro. Again, we're trained to be uh, against good players. The minute Tyrone makes grips on me, I'm connecting my knees to my elbows. There's tension in my body. I mean, if, he's, if there's no tension in my body, he'll just stuff my feet to the mat and run around. Watch what happens now. Go now. Seated guard, bro, shoo, shih tzu. See the way my whole body's coming up because there's tension in it. So it's positions. So if Tyrone knows jujitsu, anytime I make my grips, he's staying T-Rex. Just T-Rex your hands to your body. And this is the strongest, this is the strongest um, form the human body can take. See if he connects his knees to the, his elbows, I mean, from here, if I put my weight on Tyrone, he can take all my weight just by connecting his knees to his elbows. This is the strongest position the human body can, can get in. Problem is, how do I occupy that space? So, first thing I'm thinking about, don't go past the toe line. Slap the shins, make my grips, cut an angle so his feet are pointing away from me. The far leg gets pushed to the mat in the direction of the hip line. Watch what happens to Tyrone's body. His whole body turns. That's another advantage of the gi grips. Okay, because, I'm, because I've made grips and I'm here, his whole body moves. Watch what happens if I do no gi grips. The minute I get to here, see the way his legs only moved? His whole body didn't move. Whereas the gi grip, the most robust grip, the second I cut an angle and put tension in it, now when I start to push that down, see the way, you know, because Tyrone is tense like a ball, his whole body moves. So the far leg gets pushed towards the mat, and the near side leg gets pushed towards the center line. And I'm gonna fill that space with my body. Now the weakness in the Toriander game is, man, there's a lot of space I have to fill from here to here. If you looked at, say, the double underpass, and the over underpass, any time I was passing, and I was here, look how close I was to Tyrone. I had very little, look how close my chest is, boom! And I passed, and this close, whereas the Tory and the pass, the weakness in the pass, it's a good pass, but the minute I get to here, look how close, or look how far away I am. I mean, Tyrone's gonna be making frames, obviously, as I try to fill that space. So obviously, the position we want to be thinking about is not side control, it's obviously knee on belly. So, the draw is, this is going to be a long bit, <laughs> and make the slap. Okay, from that position, I cut an angle, so it's feet pointing away from me. I put the far knee to the mat, in the direction of the hip line. And now from here, I start to push this one this way. Now there'll be a little bit of space opening up, and I'm just going to put my knee into the position. Obviously, Tyrone's going to start pushing on my body, on my knee, all those things that we're going to look at. Even if he's pushing here, and I'm kind of in this position here, so it's all just about collapsing frames. 
I'm going to come across and just uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail on, on the direction of the frames, possibly on Saturday. But to keep it really, really simple, I slap, I make grips, I cut an angle. From there, the far leg gets pushed to the hip line. The second leg gets pushed towards the center line. And then I'm gonna fill that space with my knee. Again, Tyrone can be pushing wherever he wants. Doesn't matter. If he's pushing on my body, <coughs> I'm just gonna collapse those three and use the second camera. So we'll go into a wee bit more detail on those next time. So let's play with that. <coughs>